hello everyone welcome to my channel code view and talk today in this video i am going to discuss the question which was asked in infora technology so here i will discuss about the coding question and some of the java question mysql questions and web services questions so these were the questions which was asked in the screening round of the infora technology so if anyone is going to prepare or having interview with the infora technology can expect the question like this so let's get started with the question i'll just start discussing the coding question first and then we'll move on to the other section of the questions so let's get started so the first question which was asked in the coding like they will give you some three or four questions of the coding and they will ask you to solve two questions and the point needs to be kept in mind while writing your solution for the co coding question is that time complexity so they will also give you the time complexity in the problem itself so that when you write the solution for that problem you have to write the solution with with the given time complexity so always write your solution with that the time complexity let's see the first question which they asked me is that you are given a sorted and array rotated array and a key and you have to write a function to find the key in the array where the array index starts from zero and the expected time complexity for this problem is order of log n so here i'm not going to discuss the solution of the problem but if you want me to give you the solution as well please let me know in the comment section i'll give you the solution in a separate video so here i'll only discuss the question so this was my first coding question let's move to the next coding question uh, so the next question was like you are given an array of distinct integer and a sum value and you have to find the cons of triplets with sum smaller than the given sum value and the time complexity of your solution should be order of n square so here you can see in the example that you are, you are given a input array and the sum and the output as well so you can understand the problem better that's the reason i have given you the example also here in the video so this was my second questions guys let's move to the next coding questions so third coding question was like you were given a root of a binary tree and the task is to print level order trans transversal in a way that nodes of all levels are printed in a separate lines so here you see you are given a example also here so you can see that in the input you have one two three four five and the output is one and then the next line two three and then the next line four five so in my case this question was mandatory since there are four coding questions so the first second third and fourth so one question is mandatory in my case this question number three was mandatory and then you have to solve one out of other three so this was my third question and the next question which is question number four again you are given a sorted array and a number x and you have to write a function that counts the occurrence of x in array and the expected time complexity is login order of login so here you see in the example you are given like one one two 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 and three and the given number is two so in output it should print four because the occurrence of two in this example is four so see this problem can be solved in many ways but as i mentioned earlier in the video that you have to keep you have to keep in mind that time complexity has to be what it is given in the question so here they are expecting your solution to be in log of n so when you write your solution just think a bit like how can you solve this problem in log of n so this was all my coding question guys uh, so there were four coding questions as i already mentioned earlier also and you have to solve two questions out of four questions and one question will be mandatory in my case it was question number third which was related to three level transversal and i solved like three and four question number so now let's move to the next section of the questions where they asked me few questions related to the java so 
सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच वॉज आस्क इज वाई जावा इज कॉल प्लेटफॉर्म इंडिपेंडेंट प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एंड देन वाई इज द मेन मेथड स्टैटिक इन जावा एंड वाट आर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन हैश मैप एंड हैश टेबल इन जावा सो वाई इज मेथड ओवर लोडिंग नॉट पॉसिबल बाई चेंजिंग द रिटर्न टाइप इन जावा डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉन्करेंट हैश मैप हैश टेबल एंड सिंक्रोनाइज मैप इन जावा एंड एक्सप्लेन जे वी एम जे आर एन जे डी के सो अगेन गैस हियर यू सी देर आर सो मेनी थेरेटिकल जावा क्वेश्चन बट दे विल ओनली आस्क यू टू आंसर टू आउट ऑफ ऑल द क्वेश्चन सो विच एवर यू नो बेस्ट टू आंसर ऑफ ऑल द क्वेश्चन यू कैन राइट आर दीज आर वेरी ईजी क्वेश्चन सो इट्स नॉट बी ए बिग प्रॉब्लम टू आंसर एनी टू आउट ऑफ ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन सो सो दिस वॉज Java questions, guys. Now let's move on to the next section, which is web services. So, when you work with microservices or in a Spring Boot application, we are working right. Uh, you should be knowing about the concept of like HTTP methods and what are the HTTP methods. Why do we use these methods and other questions? So this is related to that. So the first question is, what are the HTTP methods? and next is what is the main difference between post put and patch method what are the key components of an http request what are the http status codes and what is the rest api and different between rest api and rpc api so again here you have to answer two question out of all the questions so you can answer best which you know the answer for the two questions so it can vary depending upon person to person for me i just answered the two question which i knew so you even you can expect the question like this and again guys if you want me to make video on solution of these questions please let me know in the comment section so that i can give you video where i have answered all these questions now next and next question is related to your databases so when you you are giving interview right it will ask the question from the all the back end technology like i have discussed coding round i have discussed uh, uh, java question then i discussed web services so now the turn is of database so here you see they are they have given again five questions from the database and you have to answer any two so the first question was like you are given a table which is employee and you have a id name and salary you have to delete duplicate names keeping first name not deleted and the second question is you have to find the nth highest salary from a table so you can find that like this is very known question in database many interview this question is asked like any highest salary it may be in the form of like second highest salary third highest salary so this is like very known questions so i think everybody should be able to answer these questions and if not then let me know in the comment section i'll just give you the solution then there is a table which contains two columns student and marks and you need to find all the students whose marks are greater than average marks so list of above average students then we had uh, like sql to display the department name having highest average salary and the table name is company and has id name department and salary as columns and the last question from my sql was like you have to print the name and salary of the person having the least salary in each department and the table name is again company and it has id name department and salary as a columns so you can solve any two so this was the questions which were asked as a java backend developer so if you are preparing for the incora technology you can expect question like this and it will be a great help guys so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye